Okay. You ready? Huh? You ready? You ready? Say hey. Say hey, Charlie. Charlie, say hey. <laughs> so if you want to suggest hey to me. All right, so hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Word of Zach here, and this is Charlie. If you haven't met Charlie yet, this is him, this is my child. This is my son, you know, I'm a father, single father of one, mm-hmm. But um, anywho, so I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Yeah, that, yep, uh, you good? You good? Sweet. Okay, you guys, so I know it's probably super, super random seeing me back and just the title of the video and everything like that. But um, pretty much, hi, if you're just not clicking on this video, you don't really know who I am. You subscribe to me from one of my old videos. And this is the first thing you see from something different, then welcome to my channel. It's where does I care. I'm usually here like on a whole different vibe and everything like that. But I've been taking a little hiatus. If you look at the timeline of my videos, my last upload and whatnot, I think it's been about a month or so, or pretty much it's been way too long. And it's been like that for a few months now. I'm going to just go ahead and say that 2018 has been so... <laughs> She's been a little rough, okay? She ain't been too cute to me. But you know what? It's okay, though. It's all growing pains and just things I need to go through in life to be a better person, be a better man, to be a better world of Zach to you guys. Um, so I'm just honestly here today because, like, my name is World of Zach. And, like, my... my not my name. My name is Zach, obviously. That's this. But my social media platform or anything like that is all Word of Zach. And I want to include you guys into my world and what's going on with me. But there are some things that I have to keep to myself. I have to go through alone or go through process off camera so I can come back and be a better Zach for you guys. Somebody that you can watch, look up to, just find like happiness in, a little safe haven, entertainment, whatever it is. And I pretty much I just owe you guys this video. So if you already know what's going on, you've been following me, you've been tuned in and everything like that, then thank you so much for your support, so much for your messages. I've been seeing everything. I've been seeing all the shady comments, all the threats and whatnot to come back with a video. I've been seeing all the posts and everything. So I have been watching. You rude. Y'all know the little glaze spray things for the scents? That's what it was. It was when I foot. Yeah. So is my leg bothering? Does it look weird? Should I just sit? Bitch, how should I sit? Is this cute? It's real, it's real like sitting around a fire right here like this. Um, okay, I'm just leaning up like this. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, yeah. You want to sit here? Huh? So I guess we'll just do this. Oh, I'm so cute. My girl is cute. Is that, is that, is that, is that? It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Chat is cute. It's cute. hair all over me though. Jesus. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Child, it's spraying through me off. But. Basically, I probably won't pick up where I left off. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see when I edit this video. But um, I just want to just come be transparent with you guys and talk to you guys, open up, and just let you guys know what's going on. I, I appreciate everything. I've been seeing everything. I have been present. I've been in the loop. I've been trying to stay active on Instagram as much as I can as far as, like, messages and whatnot, DMs and everything like that, commenting on the posts, trying to give you guys some type of content, but I think it's just been a little off. I'm going to go ahead and dive into it. I just... I know I'm over here like anxious. I just need to dive into what's been going on. So recently I just discovered that or just kind of accepted the fact that I am depressed and suffer from depression. Um, I have been depressed for a few months now and it wasn't until recently where I really just had to like have a coming to Jesus moment with myself. Just kind of get centered and take some time to really evaluate what was going on with me, going on with me mentally, emotionally, physically, everything like that. Like I just fell into a depression. I fell into a state where I... I, I didn't feel like myself and it was so hard for me no matter how much I tried to be, how much I tried to do things that were normal to me. People around me have started noticing that I'm just, something's been a little bit different about me. I just haven't had that same, you know, that little, that, that little glow, that little glimmer and all that. And when people notice that, people who know you or people who know you, even little, anybody who's been around you when you've been at your best or been your normal self, you know what I'm saying? when they can call out that you've been different and something's changed and it's not necessarily for the better, it's disheartening and it's heartbreaking. And then I get people who message me. I know people will do it because they care and because, you know, they love me. But the people like who hit me up randomly when I see them on a person like, hey, where's the video at? Where's the new post at? Like, where's this content, honey? And I'm just like, I, I don't know. It's, it's very hard for, okay, Charlie, pause. Charlie's good. He just like right here. You probably see him right there, but yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I see everything. It's just very hard for me to sit down and be creative 
to do things. There's been certain things that I found out with that I found out in this time that I've taken to just really evaluate what's going on. I'm one of those people I can evaluate myself and uh, what's going on with me and why I'm doing certain things and whatnot. I just I need to stop doing that and relying on that and relying on me just knowing that someday it'll be fixed. I need to take take action um, because. I don't like not being able to create. I don't like being afraid to step out of the box or not necessarily that, but like just be myself and do what I was, what I feel like I was destined to do. Do what makes me so, so happy, which is create content for you guys. Be creative, dive into makeup, hair, fashion, all those things, create videos, edit, like find cool ways to edit videos at like a minimal cost and whatnot. Like just giving good content, staying interactive with y'all. Like I, I want to grow that more. I want to grow that because I love it. I think there needs to be somebody like me out there in the world and I want to give that, but it's just hard for me right now going with everything mentally and me not being able to mentally get outside of that barrier, whatever it is, something like that, something mentally that's been holding me back from being able to do that. There's been something like holding back mentally and emotionally as well from being able to just open up and I don't know, prioritize properly and just do the things that really, really matter, which is like YouTube videos instead of instead of just been fucking around doing stupid stuff and things that really won't benefit me. And then, you know, there's excuses like work and stuff like that. Like if y'all don't know that I'm active duty in the military and I would say like the, since after beauty con or whatever, even like during that time, I would say July and August, just so crazy for me. So crazy, so busy going to September and just like so many things personally happen like personal life around family close friends of mine and I take on like a lot of people energies and I don't know that's something I feel like some people do a good amount of people do I take in people's energies and I try to help I try to fix I try to be like some type of like I don't know safe haven or a resolution for people and just um try to come up with a reason to be happy for other people and it's hard to do that whenever you're trying to do that for yourself. So it's like, while I'm seeing everybody around me going through stuff, whatever, I'm like, okay, let me make sure that they good. But then I, I forget like, okay, Zach, bitch, you're not good yourself. So how are you gonna do that? And then I feel guilty if I don't do it and it makes me feel worse. And it's the same thing as like me wanting to create content for you guys and be active and whatnot and whatnot. So when I'm not and I'm taking the time for myself and then I get people who love me and I get it out of love, reach out and they want me to create. They, they're asking, where are you? Like, we need you. Or I can see people checking out unsubscribing from me and just giving up on me. It just hurts even more. And then it's like, I'll have, like, I'm like, honestly, I'm gonna be real with y'all right now. I haven't checked my email in weeks. Like my business email, I haven't even checked it in weeks for the simple fact that I know I have business cards. I've collected people, like different contact info and stuff like that. But I've been so out of it and so, legit just depressed and mentally just stuck that I haven't, I've been terrified to take a leap and just see what's in there or to just dive into something because I don't feel like I'll be able to give my all to it. And I know that this is something that I have purpose for, I have destiny for, I have a lane for, like there, I this is in my heart. Beauty, fashion, influencing and whatnot, that's something I really care about. That's something that it's not just a joke for me, a joke to me, it's nothing fun. Like just just fun, you know what I'm saying? Like this is something like that is a lifestyle. Like makeup is a part of me. Fashion, hair, that's a part of who I am. It's not just for camera, for Instagram, for pictures. Like I enjoy doing those things. It's therapeutic for me. And some people will say, like, you know, just do makeup and post it. But it's just it's it takes a lot, honestly, because I don't want to put out bullshit, so I would never go through those steps just to, I would not waste your time or my time just to put out some bullshit just to say it's out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I'm like, just been trying to adjust with all that. My Instagram has gotten a lot weaker as far as my interactions and whatnot, my analytics. I don't know if I'm saying that way, right? Is that the right word? An analytics or something? Anywho, that's not doing too great. And <laughs> none of these things really help. I hope we are. Okay, I'm probably just sounding like, okay, let me try to turn this around because right now I think I'm just sounding like a sad sob story and just super, super negative. But... I just want to say that overall, I apologize for being absent and I am on the road to recovery and being better and dealing with my demons and um, just working on myself so I can be a better Zach. So the world of Zach can be a better place and a better platform, a better community for everybody to come to and enjoy and just gain something from, gain some knowledge from. Even this video, I hope that is something beneficial for y'all. I'm not about to sit on camera and cry if that's what somebody was looking for, hoping from this video. I mean, I am, like, I can feel myself kind of holding it back a little bit and me trying to, like, know that.
don't really have it in me today. It's just, it's just not there. But um, I just really want to just make sure that I'm coming to you guys honest and transparent as possible, as trans as, as most transparent as I can be. Most transparent. Girl, I've got a Mississippi, Mississippi education. My dialect language ain't that good. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? We're not gonna we're gonna, we're gonna push forward, okay? But yeah, um, I do feel a lot better right now, so I feel more comfortable sitting down to this, sitting down and filming this video today for you guys. And because honestly, y'all deserve this video. Y'all deserve to know where I've been, what's been going on, what's gonna happen next, and everything like that. So, like I said, I am aware that I've been suffering from depression. I've been going through a lot of things, and there's something wrong that I need to address and I need to work on fixing and being a better Zach for not just myself, but for the people around me, the world, because there's so many things that I want to do. And the first step that I'm going to take to doing that is actually seeking help, for like psychological help or therapist and whatnot. And I actually have my first therapy session tomorrow, which might be today when I upload this video. So I had probably had, had it and whatnot. So just know that I am on the road to recovery. Not like I'm like on drugs or anything like that. Like I'm not on drugs. I'm in the military. Don't play me. Don't. I, I'm not on drugs, okay? Donald Trump, Commander-in-Chief, um, everybody else in the military, I'm no drugs at all. None. Just a bottle of San Antonio wine. But that's not an addition either. It's just, I like to... Child, I'm over here to just sound it all just bad. But anywho, I'm going to go to the therapy session and just um, hopefully just work on getting better and becoming a better Zach, addressing some things that I have, that I suffer from, that I deal with and whatnot, and get into the root of situations and work on steps to overcome, to get through, to bridge over, all those things, you know, just to be a better Zach. Because I don't want to stay this way forever. I know that pain is temporary, but I also feel very... Um, I don't know the word. I just, I feel very <laughs> bad in a way, uh, because, and I've, I've apologized to her already, but it's kind of off top of it, not really, but for a long time, my, my mom suffer, suffers from depression and she suffered from it for years now. And I remember in high school up to like literally a year ago, I was telling her that depression wasn't real. I thought that depression was something that was made up by doctors and it was just something that like you just don't have a positive mindset so you're depressed like that's just your mind state and i call her and i have to call her and apologize to her and i felt so guilty for saying that when i saw it was mostly when i saw people close to me going through depression and dealing the way that they were dealing with it and whatnot and having a first-hand understanding i know it sounds weird because it's my own mother but seeing it from somebody else other than like that person you've seen your whole life um, it kind of made it more real to me. And then even when I started to realize that I was going through depression and, um, suffer, like suffering from depression, it obviously made it a lot more real and it was a reality check. And I've done so much apologizing and I feel so, so bad forever saying that. And I wanted everybody to know if you are suffering from depression, then I do apologize for my past ignorance and I'm here with you. I'm here for you. Seek help, do whatever it takes to become better. And know that the pain is only temporary and there are better days. There is so much more to live for. There is so much help out there for you. If you don't know, I try to link some things down below. I post numbers on the screen if I can. If I get to edit that, y'all know I'm lazy as hell. But I will do my best. I'm always here. My email is always down below. My Instagram is down below. I respond to pretty much like almost every DM. Except for the really group. Really, really weird ones, you know what I'm saying? But I try to like stay interactive with you guys. So just let me know if you're going through anything like that. There's always people to talk to. Seek help, seek somebody. Um, you aren't alone, like you are not alone. There's a big community of people out there. There's people out there who are just willing to help. There are people out there who are just listening to you talking. <clears throat> okay, so in the past couple of months and whatnot, I've come to terms with that come to terms with the fact that I suffer from like feeling very alone, um, very insecure and very um, not worthy of things. And I question myself a lot. I question like everything that I do and I question my worth, which is something that's really like I don't know it confuses me because at the same time like I don't because I know my worth and I always try to remind myself of it um like I know what I have to offer to the world to relationships and whatnot friendships and everything but at the same time though there's something in me that always makes me feel like I'm not good enough like I'm not doing well enough like I'm not just 
enough. And that kind of ties into my loneliness with me feeling alone around amazing people that I have in my life, loved ones, family, friends, and everything like that. It's just, I don't know, it's super strange. And it's something that, of course, like that's what I want to talk about and bring up when I go to therapy and I start those sessions and work on getting help and getting better and back to a better Zach or creating a better Zach uh, for everybody and myself. Uh, but it's just something like just been really interesting, kind of like coming to terms with that I'm very lonely and sad and I don't know, sometimes it goes to my mind, goes to a very dark negative, negative place and it's hard for me to try to get out of there. Mm, I don't know how to really put it into words, but that feeling of uh, unworthiness, not feeling worthy and whatnot and just feeling less than is not something I'm comfortable with. And that's why I really, really want to address it because I've known people um, come on the other side of suicide because of those feelings and they take action. Please don't worry. I'm not suicidal. I'm not there. That's not the conversation that we're having today. I'm just being very transparent with you guys that I know that those type of feelings and those thoughts can lead to those type of things because I've seen it happen. We've all seen those things. Some people who commit suicide, they commit it because they don't feel loved. They don't feel worthy. They don't feel like they're enough for the world or for people. So they feel like this, the best decision to take their own life, which is heartbreaking because Everybody has worth, everybody has something to them to impact the world, to impact somebody else's life, to make it better. So I'm gonna do what I can to make sure that I can get myself to a better place so that I can do that and I can just be popping again. I can come on and just like slay for you guys because I have so many creative ideas. I have all the deals, I have all the concepts and everything like that. I just really gotta come with it and I appreciate everybody's support and love, the messages and just the constant love and for rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I really, really appreciate y'all rocking, rocking me the long way and all that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> Ooh, yikes. <laughs> so, so, so weird and so uncomfortable. And I don't know, but yeah, you guys, I really love y'all so, so much. And bitch, like, y'all want a mud bang or something? Y'all want me to just eat with y'all and talk? Like, we can talk about the beauty community. I'm not really spilling tea on nobody because I'm not going to get blacklisted or nothing like that. I'm just not trying to ruin my career before it even really pop off. But... We can sit down, eat tall. Y'all can drive me. We can do whatever. We can have a little kiki, sis. Like, oh, excuse me, sorry. But I really do want to come back soon. Pretty, pretty soon. I just want to make sure I gave you guys this video so you knew what was going on. You knew where my mind was at. And I'm not just like, fuck y'all, fuck YouTube. Fuck, mm -mm. Like, I'm just lazy and forgetting things and whatnot. It's not that type of case. Hopefully, this video will help you guys understand what's been going on. And hopefully, this helps somebody else. And like I said, I'm gonna try to link things down below and on the screen if I'm not too lazy or not. I'm really gonna put things down below in the description box, um, ways for you to help military-wise. Anybody military dependent, I'll put those things down there below, like military one source, or you can go to mental health always. And also there's like several different things out there. There's so many different um, points of contact. I just saw that there's a LGBT, not, not boy LGBT, yes, but um, for transgender women or transgen transgender in general, there's a LGBT, there's a hotline for transgender youth and transgender to call, which is a beautiful thing because transgender lives do matter. They do. All lives matter. You know, everybody should be loved. Everybody should feel good. Everybody needs to be feel popping and be popping and be your best self. So I look forward to this journey with you guys. And I hope you guys stay tuned for more because there's so much more coming. Let me know what you guys want to see. Sound off in the comments down below. Hit me up on Instagram. It's all up on here. Subscribe to my channel down below. Give this video a big thumbs up just so they can get seen by more people and help out as many people as it can and your peers and all that. Send it to the sis. If you've ever wanted to let somebody know to subscribe to my channel, but then you was like, I'll be posting like that and stuff like that, you know? Know that there's gonna be fire always. There will always be fire on my channel and my Instagram will stay popping, okay? So you can refer to my Instagram because I can get links on there. I'm, just, I'm putting little notifications up. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be annoying and whatnot. But yeah, refer to Antenna. What's up? Tell them what's T, sis. I love you guys so, so much. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say besides I love y'all and. <laughs> I'm gonna go drink some wine and eat some Little Caesars pizza if y'all were just curious about what I'm about to do. Yeah, some wine. No, I ain't got no wine, actually. I got, like, a red apple ale. Then real cute. Some Little Caesars pizza over there. Light a candle and a watch. And then I'm gonna watch American Horror Story. That's gonna be my Wednesday night. And I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all in my next video. Really awkward twerk, but yeah.